Hello everyone and welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. We are getting there with the new setup and the new studio. I will do a full room tour once we're done done. I still have things to put up and finish. Uh, thanks for being here today. Um, we're gonna watch a movie for our popcorn POTUS week for President's Day. Uh, Carly and I watched All the President's Men and now I'm going to watch the movie Dave. Now, I think this is definitely different than All the President's Men. I know it's a mostly comedy, I think. I've had so many requests for this one, so I'm excited. I think you guys by now know my taste, and it seems like a lot of you think I will like this. I'm always a little self-conscious about watching comedies because there's not as much to react to, and I feel like I just sit here and laugh, and it can be hard to watch yourself laugh on camera. You know what I mean? But I always have so much fun with these, and they're always a nice break between uh, serious or scary or thrilling or drama. So I don't know actually who's in this one. I don't know who plays the president, but I am excited to see what this fun story is about. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new here. I would love to have you stick around. Hit the bell if you want to know when we drop new content. Here's my Patreon. Here's my Instagram. It was my New Year's resolution to do way more on Instagram and I've kind of sucked so far, but We've still got 10 months to go, so have faith in me. Okay, here we go. Dave, let's watch it. I gotta check when um, this came out because, oh, Sigourney Weaver is in it. This music and montage at the beginning is just giving me 90s vibes. 1993. For some reason I thought it was like a 2000s movie, but... <laughs> They're a classy looking couple. The Monroe. Welcome home, Mr. President. Yes, sir, the Monroe Hotel. You got someone to double for me there out front? We're working on it, sir. Try to find someone that looks like me this time, will you? That last guy was a joke. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States! Let me just say, from one chief executive to another, that there is no Chevrolet like Durenberger's Community Chevrolet. Mom, that's not the President, is it? I sure hope not. Convertibles that you're going to be even busier than I am. You said it. Wait, what? It's got homeless shelters and head start centers and uh, hot lunches. Hot lunches for little kitties. It does look like the same guy, but car, the president doesn't go to car dealerships. We tried to kill it. If you'd killed it, it would be dead. Mr. President, with all the work your wife has done with the homeless... My wife. I don't want you to do this because you're forced to. I want you to do this because you want to. I want you to do it because it's the right thing to do. I want you to do it because you're acting in the best interests of your country. He doesn't seem very kind. Ask me how I did. How did it go? I killed him. Yeah? It was great. Mabel says it's too far on the bus. Jennifer's boss tried to hit on her again, and Lola's been in your office crying for almost an hour. Then they put me on the way. Yo no entiendo esa máquina. Yo entiendo. Yo le dije a ellos. Murray, tell them we're on our way, okay? It's Wednesday. Everybody works on Wednesday, okay? Can I borrow your... Thanks. Don't cry. He's an employment agency. I don't have enough work for the people you already gave me. Your husband's a diabetic. Diabetic? Diabetico. Please. Dad from Beethoven. I'll see what I can do. Oh, Loma. Every night, my honey, lamb and I sit alone and talk. And he does seem great. Fine, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Oh, I'm Dwayne Stevenson with the United States Secret Service. We're with the federal government. I swear, I thought that was a legitimate deduction. See, if Mr. Work... Kovic, we're not here about your taxes. <gasps> On occasion for security purposes, the Secret Service hires someone to double for the president at public functions and exposed situations. Just a little tiny smell will be okay, guys. Your government needs your help. You, you really cut his hair this short? It's a perfect match. It doesn't come over the years? No, 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 no. You understand what you'll be doing. Way from the door. Come down the stairs, headed to the limo. If you want me to talk, don't say a word. President of the United States. They don't actually do this in real life, do they? Is this 
the real president now? Is there a lawyer in the house? Because he wasn't supposed to talk. This must be the real guy. You know, just seeing him makes me kind of nostalgic for those innocent days back then. Standardized parole criteria. That will oh, okay. Has paid his debt to society. I feel like he needs more training. By the people. And for okay, it's actually the, the same teachers. actor, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm like, how are these guys twins? How did they find someone? Okay, it's the same actor. Limber up. Get loose. Feel the rhythm. Jesus Christ. You're a very handsome man. Thank you, Mr. President. Just get rid of the grin. You look like a schmuck. I like it. Call me if there's a war. You're on. <laughs> okay, you ready? I wonder if he's a well-liked president by the public. I'm sorry, I just couldn't help it. I got carried away. I was pretty good though, wasn't I? I guess something pretty important must be going on for the president to go through all this. Top secret. I knew it. It's a secretary, isn't it? Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. At some point, we're gonna have to call the vice president. Don't call the vice president. What? Just don't call him out. The guy's in a coma, Bob. This is mine, Al. I made him. I built him. And no boy scout is gonna come in here and take it away from me. Who's our vice president? What? Back to the cottage. What? We'll admit he had a stroke, but we'll say it was a mild stroke. But to be up and around again sometime soon. Up and around? How? He's going to pretend to be the president for like a lot of time, isn't he? I think I've been pretty cooperative. I'd just like to know where we're going. Yikes. The cottage. But Dave, something has come up and I think we need to talk about it. I'm so sorry. I know I wasn't supposed to talk, but I saw the crowd and I... Got excited. Oh, we're not upset with you, Dave. We think you did a terrific job. In fact, we think you did such a good job that we would like to extend things a little. I feel so um, nervous right for him. Oh, that looks like a calm feature. How's that feel? Very nice. The reason we invited you here tonight is because something has happened to the president. Oh my God. I know. Sometimes we need to put our personal feelings aside and focus. I'm afraid the president's not in very good shape. We'd be all right. Oh, yeah. Probably. We think so. We need them to feel like they can go to bed at night knowing that President Mitchell is fully in control. Just give it to him straight. Hey. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What about the vice president? Vice president? We didn't want to have to tell you this, Dave, but the vice president is mentally unbalanced. <laughs> I'm afraid so. Really? Yes. yes. Who is, like, they need to pan to him. Is this legal? Have you ever driven through a red light on an empty road? when there's nobody around and you know it's safe? I might have. Well, let, let's say, let's say your mother is in the car and you have to get her to the hospital. You'd do it then for sure, wouldn't you? I guess I would. Mm. Now, let's say the whole country is, is in the car. The entire United States of America. In the car. In the car. They need to get to the hospital. And you're gonna get her to the hospital. The president's bedroom is on that side. The first lady's is over there. First lady? You won't even see her. They barely talk anymore. You're kidding, it happens. Are they gonna tell the first lady? They have to tell the first lady. <gasps> Are they gonna tell the first lady? I'm sure you'll be comfortable here. We'll be back to get you first thing in the morning. The Secret Service man is right outside the door. Good night, Mr. President. Good night. Sleep tight. What about his job? What about people that know him? Well, what are they gonna tell him? 
How many people in the White House are they going to let in on this? Yes, Mr. President. Uh, nothing. Good night. <laughs> Reports that he had suffered a severe stroke are erroneous. Now, let me stress again, this is a minor medical problem. The president has complete use of his faculties and retains full executive authority. White House spokesmen say that the president's condition is far from serious. Do you know how many different morning, kinds of laws we've broken? We send the vice president to Africa, we dig up some dirt on him, and then we force him to resign. You mean we get Dave to nominate you as vice president? Our newly appointed VP becomes... Jeez. What about containment, Della? Oh, this guy... That seems not good. That's not about the country getting to the hospital. It's about that guy. Even for a man with a minor stroke, you seem to have made a, a remarkable recovery. Oh, that's great. I'm, I'm feeling much better. No signs of paralysis, no circulatory changes. Your ECG is completely normal. Blood pressure has even gone down. Have you been exercising recently? Yes. I mean, bicycling and uh, uh, weightlifting, looking after the diet. I see no reason why you can't uh, return to work within the next couple of days. Good. Good. Keep <laughs> it simple. Of course. Diane, good to see you. Well, welcome back. Randy. Oh, good morning, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. I was really worried. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, I was really, sir, had me I'm worried. Fine. Well, I was really worried. <laughs> okay, let's get back to work, okay? Sick time is done. Let's call the, whoa! <laughs> You met a girl who fell in love. And we're going away on a holiday. A month. Right. Don't embellish. He pulls out this ring. And I got so emotional. COVID tips. Oh, hi, Dave. Where are you? You met who? You're going where? Cancun. Oh, I think that's that's great. She's very special. She's beautiful. She's, uh, she's, uh, she's Polynesian. Well, half Polynesian. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Don't embellish. She's uh, amnesian. <laughs> Hang on. I gotta go now. The plane's leaving. Call you later. Bye. Uh, isn't he in charge? Don't they need him? Is the White House gonna give his temp agency some money? The president was able to attend to some official business on Wednesday and continues to be briefed on all areas of national concern. <laughs> I would need this too. Like, which is Congress and which is Senate? <laughs> But the vice president has been sent on a 12-nation African goodwill tour. Nobody expects you to be Bill Mitchell overnight. Now, whenever he stands at a podium, President Mitchell always has one hand in the pocket of his coat. That's at a press conference. Almost always on the podium. No, I'm... An America stronger than the one we were given. An America prouder than the one we found. That is very good. Oh, I love that speech. Thanks, I wrote it. It's great. Can I keep this? <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. I thought I wasn't going to see her. It's just five minutes. She walks in, you wave to the press, she leaves. Couldn't I start with a cousin or something? She hardly ever sees him. And this will be so fast, you won't have a chance to tell. Convince her, you can convince anybody. I don't want him as the president. Can't you die from a stroke like everybody else? What are you staring at? Uh, Mrs. Mitchell, we're going to do it right out here. Who was she, Bill? Another patriotic secretary? Thank you for doing this, Ellen. Go to hell, Bill. Oh, I think we can get started now. Oh. And you can tell these two pit vipers that this is the last one of these I'll be doing for a while. She really does not like him. How are you feeling? Fine. Fine. Ready to get back to work? You bet. You bet. You be making the decisions now? Are you back in charge? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Don't you have anything to say to me? Thank you for doing this. You don't change, do you, Bill? She hates me. Yes. Go, go, go! First off, we're going to talk to Ted on the uh, new land management legislation. Your arm's in there, and the machine will do everything your arms do. Oh my gosh. What is with President Mitchell lately, huh? Guy been having too many happy meals for lunch or what? Let's talk a little bit about desserts. No donuts. Thank you, Arnold. But yes, donuts.
Good thing he doesn't have like a mole or something. You know, like tattoo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two weeks after his brush with death, the president is suddenly bounding around the country with the energy of a high school track star. Is this merely overcompensation or the indefatigable greatness of a truly great man? John, the illness just crystallized his thinking. He can show some zip, some life, even act like a child. He recovered from his illness. He is now rejuvenated. On a political rehabilitation scale of zero to 10. She's gonna figure it out. He's her husband. There's gonna be a tell. Or they're gonna fall in love. Then she's gonna think it's Bill still. First lady and the president. What is that? I mean, how, how long has that been going on? I can't say. You mean you don't know or you can't say? I can't say. So uh, your job is to protect the president all the time. That's your whole job, right? You have a gun? <laughs> I want to be friends with him. Not yet. It looks like a good sandwich. You know, I've always wondered about you guys. Where they say that you'd take a bullet for the president? What about it? Is that really true? I mean, would you let yourself be killed to save his life? Certainly. So that means now you'd get killed for me, too. Okay, so think about that one. You scheduled a whole day with the first lady? It's a homeless shelter. Oh, excuse me. It's going to be great. Caring about his wife, spending time on her favorite issues. I don't want him caring about his wife. What about the vice president? Remember that first liberty stuff we almost got nailed on? Yeah. I just dumped it on him instead. When does it break? First liberty? Couple days. Anyway, just look at Dave's tracking polls. I'll burn up in your hands. 3% with seniors. 84 with working mothers. Uh, we still gotta control this guy. Everybody loves Dave. It's when do you care about the homeless? I care about the homeless. I'm sure it's keeping you up nights. He does. Kids are homeless, too. Where are the parents? A lot of them are in shelters, but some of them are still out on the street. Hello. Go ahead, don't be shy. One of the things that happens when kids become homeless is they start to lose some communication skills. So here at Helping Hand, they play a lot of games. Poor Joe. He has no hair. Everybody, pay attention. Here we go. Poor Joe. He has no hair. From the first five minutes, you could tell Dave was like a good person who did want to help people. And this is gonna show. Hi there, what's your name? David. David, great name. Ooh, that was close. Hey guys, not now, okay? Don't you like playing games with the other kids? No. Do you like magic? Watch this. What can run all day without ever getting tired? I'll give you a hint, it's not your ear. My nose. No. Oh, there it is. Is First Lady still there? Mm-hmm. That's you. Right behind Wait. Right. See, okay, here's me. Now look over here, right behind the machine. That's me? Yeah. Looking very strong and forbidding. Have you ever thought about, like, wearing a sweater or something? <laughs> really? Like, a, even a sweater vest? You could wear a tie. You think a sweater vest would look good on me? Oh, my gosh. This is what we need, guys. What we need is just a normal guy who's nice and kind and hasn't been in politics to be president. I'm just gonna say it. Where are those people? Bill Mitchell votes no. She can do whatever he wants. He's got the power. That's why he's in the shower. I can't believe you would do something like this. Yeah. Not even you. How could you? How could I what? Don't patronize me. I'm not one of your little bimbos. I'm talking to you. Will you please turn around? Turn around. You know, if you want to be the same old selfish bastard, go ahead, I've gotten used to that. But don't put on this man of the people routine and then do something like this. I don't understand. You know very well that was not a works bill that you vetoed. That would have given those children homes. <gasps> you made their funding disappear. Look, if there's been some mistake... There's no mistake, Bill. When you veto their funding, that's not a mistake. When you hurt someone intentionally, that is not a mistake. Ellen! Ellen! Ellen. Oh. Call oh, Bob. Call Alan, tell him I want to see them right now. Yeah, but it's 10.30 at night. You got it. He's the president. The president vetoes works, Bill. 
We vetoed that? We didn't veto anything. These things get awfully complicated sometimes, and I think you have to... That shelter was in this bill. If we could have protected... Lots of shelters were in this bill. Listen, you little sh**. Oh, I dislike him strongly. Dave, we saw those kids. Yes, you did. And if you can find a way to cut $650 million from the federal budget, you can keep your lousy shelters. <gasps> lousy shelters? We try not to say hate in our house, but that guy is getting close. I'm here to see the president. Is that right? He asked me to come. I don't want to sit, sit in that chair. It's okay. I don't want to sit in that chair. Please, Murray, come Dave. on. It's okay. The place is probably bothered. It's okay, Murray. You could get in so much trouble. With who? The government. I'm the government. Murray, I can't tell you the whole story. It's, it's kind of a national emergency kind of thing, but you got to help me cut the budget a little. Murray. I mean, if I ran my business this way, I'd, I'd be out of business. So what can we do? You know, I see a lot of places you could say, but, you know, I can't make those choices. I mean, I'm not the president. You know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not uh, the one, you know, pretending to be the president. I understand. Let me give it a try. You? Yeah. Here. Look at this. He's gonna show it to this freaking guy. I don't know if he's Bob or Allen, but he's the most unlikable one. Look at this. Vice President's office linked to SNL scandal. Alan, you're a genius. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> uh, okay, before we get started, uh, a couple things I'd like to go over in the budget. Do we have anything in the budget today? No, I don't think so. They can't do anything. I think I found some ways to put back the homeless section of the Simpson Garner Works Bill. Uh, according to the OMB, we've got 17 defense contractors who are delinquent in their contracts. Uh, well, in a sense, yeah. Instead of giving them money for something they haven't finished, we could hold back that cash. Mr. Savings. President. Yes? Nothing. <laughs> In order to get the rest of the money, we're going to have to really start making some... You're spending $47 million on an ad campaign to boost consumer confidence in the American auto industry. So we're spending $47 million so that somebody can feel better about a car that they've already bought? But I wouldn't characterize that way. No, no, I don't want to tell some eight-year-old kid that he's got to sleep in the street because we want people to feel better about their car. Do you want to tell him that? No, sir. That's another 47 million. So this is good. We're doing good. Bob, you told him. You said come up with a way to make $650 million. $656 million. We can keep the program. I'm going to cry. <laughs> He's so mad and I hate him. This is what we need. Oh my gosh, I know this is a movie, but holy crap. Someone who is not corrupt and out for their own... Gosh! I'm not saying anything about anything, okay? I'm just saying in general. You're not gonna believe what your husband just did. I'm gonna kill him. <sighs> you can't kill a president. He's not a president. Kill an ordinary person. Dear heavens, Bob. Job? It's not his job. It's my job. Bob. Will you calm down? Was he on the Trilateral Commission? Was he a senator? Was he in who's who in Washington nine years in a row? Hello, Judy. Hi, Hi. Judy. Destroy him, Alan. I'll shred the bastard. Don't do this. Lock him away for good, and we'll all go to jail together. What are you gonna do, Bob? What do you mean by that? Just what you think I mean. You go, Alan. Are you threatening me? Well... I'd be a little scared of him, because he just said he could kill 100 people without even yeah. blinking. So... I guess I am. Hey, maybe you can come back sometime. We can go to Camp David or something. Get out of here as fast as you can. Come on, seven. Come on, number six. You're both loose. Both loose. I saw your light was on, so I just... Mind if I sit down? That was quite a thing you did today. Anyone would have done that. I don't think so. Anyway, you helped a lot of people. It kind of reminded me of that thing you did a long time ago in the state legislature. Oh, yeah? Hmm. You weren't in the state legislature. She knows. Hi, I'm Ellen Mitchell. Who are you? <laughs> Look, I'll make this easy on you. I never see him anymore. I barely know him anymore. I just kind of like to know where he is. This could get me into a lot of trouble. Oh my. I've been wondering about this. I'm sorry, you're not allowed in here. Sorry, Mr. Alice. Alexander left strict Wayne, instructions. I'll explain it to you later. What happened? It's a stroke. It's pretty bad. I don't understand. Is he is he going to? Sorry. Good thing they don't have any kids. Are you leaving? I'm not the first lady anymore. 
shouldn't be here. Where are you going? Home. Where's home? Look, can we stop with the 20 questions? Because I'm really not in the mood. Souvenirs, towels and stuff. You're leaving too? I never wanted to hurt anybody. In fact, I even thought I was helping. You make this little deal with yourself that you can put up with all the other women and you can even do without a life and you can even do without children and... Oh, my gosh. You thought you had a chance to help people. How are you going to get home? I, uh, I don't know. I hadn't really thought it out that far. Are you sure this goes somewhere? They say LBJ used it all the time. They cannot leave Bob in charge. Dave, you got to go back. When did you uh, first know? In the car, I think. On the way to the shelter, you looked at my legs. I thought maybe it was in the shower. No. They really are like... Ah! My God. Oh, my. See your driver's license, sir? Yes, sir. And registration? No, uh, I uh, must have left it at home. Step out of the car, please. Oh, my gosh. Say something, first lady. Well, Mr. Kovac, you may not be aware, but there is a posted no left turn sign just down the block here. You went right through it. I don't know what I was oh thinking. Oh, my gosh. We're, we're lookalikes. <laughs> we don't look like each other, but I mean, I know what you're thinking. We, yeah, we, people hire us to impersonate the president and the first lady. Uh, we just played the Saperstein wedding. They loved us. We did, we did, our, no. uh, we did our club med routine, the big, uh, the big finale at, uh, at, the, at, the, at the talent club. The sun will come out tomorrow. I'm OK. There'll be sun just thinking about tomorrow. Tomorrow, we love you tomorrow. Before cell phones could capture this, right? I'm not going to give you a ticket. I think you ought to save all the money you have. <laughs> He's not going to give us a ticket. Right. Very good. But she needs a lot of work. Yes, I know. <laughs> this is good. What's in it? That's a secret. You have a lot of secrets. I guess. I think they should go back. They should go back and do good. I know it's bad. I run a temp agency, you know, secretaries and stuff. You mean you find people jobs? Yes. It's just more than most people do around here. Don't get carried away. I'm not that good at it. And your family? I mean, I assume you're married. I was. Once. Didn't take. You know, Dave, it is Dave, isn't it? I can't keep all of this a secret. Yeah, I know. I like doing it, though. I liked saving that shelter. I liked helping people that I hadn't even met before. Just then I felt like I wasn't pretending anymore. I don't think you were pretending. Save the nation, guys. What would you do if you were still in there? I mean, if you had one more chance to be president, what would you do then? Lots of things. She's gonna help him. They're doing it. We're in this together. You make a nice president, Dave Kovic. <laughs> we are delighted you're visiting the White House today. Let's keep moving, folks. We're walking, we're walking. Love her. The White House always maintains its character and its dignity. We're walking. He's walking. He's Bob Alexander, our White House chief of staff. Boo. I had nothing to do with this. He called himself. I swear to God. He's going to have his own stroke. What do you think you're doing? You mean the press conference? I uh, have a couple of ideas I wanted to share with the country. You don't call a press conference. I call a press conference. You're nobody. You're a fiend. You're a blip. Maybe I am. But you're fired. What? I said you're fired. Go on, get out of here. Oh, fired? Yeah. You're fired. Fine. Fine? Fine. Whole well, press corps is right out there. Shall I go tell them? Or did you want to? You're screwed. They're all waiting in the press room. I really think you ought to get in there. Oh, Bob. I'm sorry. I thought we were alone. Like your resignation on my desk by the time I get back. <laughs> the vice president. I mean, what else could it be? <laughs> the ex-vice president. He'll be a prison reformer at Danbury in a year. Good luck. I'd like to begin uh, with an announcement. It may come as a surprise to many of you. I've uh, asked Bob Alexander to resign as White House Chief of Staff. Over the last few months, Bob and I have come to believe in different things. He thinks this country's fine and we should go about doing business as usual. I just don't feel that way. We got so many problems that we don't even want to look at them anymore. They just blend together into this great big noise, and pretty soon we can't even hear ourselves think. The worst part is that we feel like we can't do anything about it, and that's a tragedy. But we, we don't know where to start, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. But I have an idea of where we can start. From today, I'm going to make it the responsibility of this government find a job for every American who wants one. 
You don't really know how much you can do until you stand up and decide to try. That's it. So, let's get to work. Thank you. If you look at a photograph of Bill Mitchell taken before the stroke and one right after, what? you will see distinct differences. Are you saying this is a conspiracy? Yes, I am saying this is a conspiracy. <laughs> it's funny to see conspiracy is right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. U.S. News hammered us, but they're always tough on that kind of thing. Rosenthal loved us in the Times. Oh, that's mm. good. Mr. Nance is waiting for you inside. Ah. Who? The vice president. Oh, the vice... Nance, I thought... What if we love the vice president? Mr. President, these are a gift from the king of Togo. Fertility beads. Ah. And these are from... The people of Burundi. May I speak frankly with you? Yes, please. Sit down. It's good to see you. I know we haven't always gotten along. I know you disagreed politically, and I suppose I know what you think of me personally. But I've always tried to respect the role you wanted me to play. When I've disagreed with this administration, I've kept it to myself. When you wanted my support, you always had it. How could you do something like this to me? Something like what? Oh, come on, we're not children. I didn't have anything to do with this first liberty nonsense, and you know it. All I've got is my integrity, Bill. Call Alan. I'll take care of this. We made it up. Well, we had to, Dave. The guy's a Boy Scout. It was Bob's idea. What's he gonna do? When I first began to look into the allegations concerning First Liberty Savings and Loan, I thought the wrongdoing was restricted to the Vice President's office. Oh, no. As I began to investigate, I realized that this pattern of corruption extended much higher. I was saddened to discover at least 15 separate acts of intervention. <gasps> Records were destroyed and pressure was brought to bear. In some cases, by President Mitchell himself. Now he's making stuff up about me. He's not. He's not. You mean I did all that? No, you didn't. Bill Mitchell did. Oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> Oh no, this is bad. But if you go running around the country with this new job, I just put us on a spit and bring in the sauce. Yeah, just wait a little. Yeah. No, can't wait. Mr. President, I understand how you feel, but talking about obstructing federal regulators, violating election laws. Mr. President, I got people up on the hill who are talking impeachment. I know the president's supposed to serve four years. Now it looks like it may be closer to 15 to 20. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, and now political action groups Mr. Claim president. to sue the president. May I come in? Mr. President, whatever happens, I just wanted you to know that I think your jobs program is a wonderful idea. Not that too many people are going to pay much attention now, but thanks. Uh, do you, uh, would you like to sit down for a minute? Do you ever um, <clears throat> think back to how you got started? Uh, <laughs> I was a shoe salesman. Not very happy about it. One day, my wife says to me, why don't you try running for office? You know, you talk about it all the time. Why don't you just go do it? So I tell my boss I have a dentist appointment and I go down to the registrar of voters on my lunch break. Next thing I know, I'm a councilman. My wife was my campaign manager. We had a budget of $2,000. He's, he's so... He... How about you? Me? How did you get started? Kind of the same way. Why do they think the vice president's crazy? Because I just didn't like him. But I think he's kind of great. Vice president's a good man, isn't he? He's a very good man. How can this end? I don't want to lose you. Alan, relax. Sorry. Enjoy the moment. I don't want him to out himself, I don't think. I think that's what I want. Hey, Bob, what do you think? Put that away. Let's wait on the speech first. Mr. Speaker, the President of the United States. I wish I could be here today under different circumstances. Certainly are a lot of things about this country that we should be discussing, but I realize that's not possible now. My former chief of staff has implicated me in a scandal. Bob Alexander has accused me of illegally influencing government regulators on behalf of major campaign contributors. Okay, let's get right to the guts of it. Each one of these charges is absolutely true. Oh, oh, oh. Die, you pun scum! Ew. I have here written proof in the form of notes, memoranda, and personal directives proving that Bob Alexander was also involved in each one of these incidents. Buck stops there. Now, as this evidence will prove, at no time and in no way was the vice president involved in any of this affair. Vice President Nance is a good and decent public servant. He means that. Uh-oh. Where'd your friends go, Bob? 
I forgot that I was hired to do a job for you, and that was just a temp job at that. I forgot that I had 250 million people who were paying me to make their lives a little bit better. I think there are certain things you should expect from your president. I ought to care more about you than I do about me. I ought to care more about what's right than I do about what's popular. I, if I'm not... If I'm not... If I'm not then, stroke? Then maybe I don't belong here. Okay. Okay, so we know that's pretend. This is real. This is Dwayne's in on it. First Lady's in on it. Oh, now that people love him so much, it's gonna be so sad that he's a strope. Like a, like they said, a vegetable. Oh, that's the only way it would've worked. Oh. You okay getting home? Yeah, it's not far. Take care. I would have taken a bullet for you. Scott Goose. So now the vice president will be the president. And that'll be okay. Oh, what about Ellen? What about Ellen and Dave? How could I forget? Even if he was a terrible husband, the real president, it's still sad for her. And unlike his previous stroke, it has left the president fully the incapacitated. Mourned as President William Harrison Mitchell was laid to rest. In Vice President Gary Nance was officially sworn in today as the 45th president of the United States. The new president promises a leadership of fairness. I plan to honesty. continue Bill Mitchell's call to arms. This isn't my presidency. This is his presidency. You can't think of a better way to ensure his legacy. He's going to do the jobs. To continue the principles you need to no button. We're not putting any button. We have a limited amount of buttons. So don't put any buttons in the envelope. We have a limited amount of buttons. He's running for office. OK, well, she's changed. Harry, it's the middle of winter. They're going to turn off her heat. She needs a job. Uh, did you get that fundraising thing I sent you? Yeah, city council. City council. All right. The mailers. And uh, everybody works on Mondays. I understand you find people jobs. Well, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm running. You look great. I saw you on TV at the funeral. That's finally over. <laughs> Why don't we go into my office? It's, uh, it's he knows. my gosh okay i just got off imdb that the president was auto i'm so glad i didn't know that beforehand from a fish called wanda because i strongly disliked him in a fish called wanda and i feel like that would have mm, carried over but i didn't i didn't put it together so that's great because i love dave kobach just want that movie to be true and i want <laughs> i want a dave for president it was funny it was sweet it was heartwarming and entertaining, and it was just really great. It was exactly what I wanted and needed from a movie like this. Sometimes, obviously, White House president dramas, uh, there's a lot of real issues, and obviously those are gonna be very dramatic, and this was just, it was just sweetness. And uh, I had a lot of fun watching that. And they even gave me that big kiss at the end. Are you kidding? It was super fun. Okay, thank you so much for watching along. What a great addition to POTUS week. One more to go, 13 days. And I just found out yesterday, someone's like, you know, Kevin Costner's not the president in it. I was like, I really wanted Kevin Costner as the president, but does he play the president in anything else? I'll take him how I can get him. Anyways, can't wait. Thank you so much for watching along and have a wonderful night.